I'm not the gym teacher, I got it. Oh, 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 man, I'm so, Principal Garcia, I'm, so, I'm such a cuss, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't see where you were going. It's okay, I was in the car, no, no, I was going. No, I Does that actually mean we should be sorry? I, I'm well, sorry about that. Oh, no worries. Hey, I, I was wondering, I mean, we, we were wondering, uh, you know, uh, the, there's an after party after the spring dance, and we know you usually don't like to come to these kind of things, but you know, oh, no, it's, it, it's, a, it's a great bar. It's, it's literally right around the corner of Mulvaney's. I don't know. If you're I don't know. know. These kids folks just have to tire me out. I'm a little bored. I'm sorry. No, no worries, no worries. I just, uh, you know, I figured we'd be hanging out with all of us, so I just wanted to, you know, it's, it's all right. Yeah. You know, I know usually it's weird that no one invites you, but. Um, well, no one's really asked. But, uh, <laughs> you know, kind of hard to boss, so you. Know, <laughs> yes, I get it. Uh, but no worries. Uh, think about it. You know. I'll think about it. <laughs> See you around. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, they got me. Wait, I gotta get to my class. <laughs> My goodness, Houston, we have a problem. I'm gonna be in so much trouble. Look, Vita, do you see this? Who in the world snuck this article into the Gazette? I never okayed this. Hold up, I'm still in the article about the dance next week. I think I'll wear my peach dress. Remember my peach dress? Vienna, turn to the back of the page. It's a picture of Principal Garcia and Mr. Reyes, and they're holding hands. I took this picture, and why are they holding hands? I don't know they were dating. Because they're not, silly. Miss Garcia has not had a boyfriend in years. How do you know? As a reporter, I know all the gossip in the school. Plus, on Valentine's Day, I overheard Miss Garcia talking to Miss Natalie, saying that she had no love life. So they're definitely not dating. <sighs> Whoever did this is going to get me in so much trouble. Calm down. Whenever I feel flustered, I just do what my therapist says. What's that? I breathe from my core. Soul core breathing. <laughs> Woo! That makes me a little lightheaded. Vienna, I'm not giving birth. There are real issues here. I am being serious. Well, what do we have here? The two stupids. You're in my way. Yeah, you're in my way. Excuse you? Oh, no, honey. I'm like Beyonce. When I show up, move out of the way. Yes! Like, totally. Move out of the way. Bullies? So I am a bully. I live for it. Makes my teeth whiter. Yes! Totally! It makes her teeth whiter. Duh! <laughs> Duh! <laughs> I'm gonna rip her oh head off. I'm gonna She's such an evil person. Just because she's tall, and she's pretty, and she's gray hair, and she's just like a model. Don't give her compliments. We have bigger fish to fry. Like, who wrote that article? We have to find out and expose them. Class. It has come to my attention that there was some salacious articles with the Gazette. I would like to have you through the editorial staff come down to my office after school. Oh my god, that's it. My parents are going to ship me to live with my grandmother. Calm down. We'll find the writer of this article and they will be expelled. Instead of you. I can just hear my dad now. Emilio, even though your grades have been stellar since pre-K, with this expulsion, we'll be disowning you forever. They're going to banish me even on holidays and I'm going to live with my grandma. And she has no dishwasher! No dishwasher! Oh my god! That is extreme torture! Oh, I think I'm feeling like I want to throw up. So you guys heard about the article. Amelia, how could you and Mr. Connolly allow this to happen to our dear principal? 
I'm telling you that I did not do it. I only gave the green light to the student council meeting, the basketball game, the spring dance, and the rip day ceremony. I have no idea how the article or the picture got in there. Leave us alone, Niall. Well, as student class president and clearly the smartest person in the school, we on the Student Council would like to ban the Whitman Gazette until your expulsion, Miss Hastings. What? Jerk. Now, now, ladies, no name calling, please. I'm just doing my job as class president. I need to lead the class in what is upright and respectful behavior. And what you did was disrespectful, reprehensible, and impudent. What the heck does impudent mean? You're working against me? I hope you get elected. I am the people's president. The people voted for me. I lead the class in what is upright and respectful behavior. And what you did was terrible. We on the spot. Amelia, everything that you have done is, is disrespectful. And everything that you have done has taken down the school bit by bit. I, I'm not happy. We on the student on the student council would like to ban the women's Gazette until Amelia Hastings and I Association Vienna Berlin are out of this school. This is this bell? Oh no, Amelia, for whom the bell tolls? It tolls for me. Dude, calm down. Okay, okay. <laughs> Editor, reporter, and alumni advisor, Amelia Anna Mr. Conley. I need an explanation. I need an explanation. I need to know who took this picture and wrote this article, and how could you let them do this? If parents get a wind of this, I am in a heap of trouble. Miss Garcia, I'm telling you, I did not do it. I only had all upcoming school events greenlit. I've never seen the picture or the article before in my whole life. I would never do this to you. Plus, I didn't even know you and Mr. Reyes were. You know, we are not either. Well, me and my brother are alibis. We were in a Rwanda family trip. We go on vacation for one week and this happens? You dropped the ball, Amelia. I am so sorry, Ms. Garcia. Mr. Conley, I'm very disappointed in you. I know this is your first year as a teacher and your fifth year as an alumni advisor to the Gazette. You know how we value order here at Women's School. You need better measures when you're not around. This is embarrassing for both Mr. Reyes and myself. Just give me time to prove myself innocent. How are you going to do that? I have an idea, Didi. We can have a trial. A, a trial? Vanessa, as much as I think you're a genius, that idea sounds time to soon, no lady. Well, it's better to have an official investigation and trial than to possibly take it in an innocent person out. We need a judicial process. It shows more jurisprudence than when a usual behaved and honorable student like this Amelia out under her butt, like she's roadkill. It would look very bad on the school, and considering her parents paid for our very high-tech theater. Ouch. I forgot about that. I don't know. Who'll be the judge? Me, of course. Since I am in the gifted classes, I have no contact or emotional connection with these rock-headed simpletons I can judge without bias. I will be the prosecutor lawyer for the paper and defend my brother. Wow, Anna, I thought we were friends. No hard feelings. No hard feelings. I'm protecting my brother, who's the alumni advisor. It's only fair. Teachers can be prosecutors. I'll have the possible witnesses. Amelia, you better do the same. Well, it looks like there'll be a trial. DG will find out who the perpetrator is, and then you can decide if he or she should be expelled. Let me get my judicial robe ready. Hey, why do you have a judge's robe? Because I'm going to be a judge like the right honorable Sonia Sotomayor. We're both from the Boogie Town Bronx. We're both Latina and we are both brilliant. Like, duh. <laughs> well, let's say we have a trial. What's going to happen to you, Miss Amelia, the editor? I I don't know. Better find someone really quick. I come from a long line of criminal lawyers. Be prepared! They really need to take Lion King off the school social media. <laughs> I mean, who could defend me? Not sure. 
Even though he hates your guts, there is Miles. He's no use in second grade. Not Miles. Did you not hear him this morning? He is not on my side. Plus, I think he's a witness to the prosecution. He cannot defend me. I mean, I can do it. Did I just overhear Vianna say that she will defend you? Amelia, you must have a death wish. Yeah, a death wish. <laughs> Ugh, these walls are way too thin. What do you mean? Girl, you can't even spell. Yes, girl, you cannot spell. Leave my friend alone. She can spell. Yeah, I can spell. Can she? Spell cosmetology. That's easy. Okay. Sounded out. Remember, I learned how to read because of the Alamo. What? I have to. Just say it like Elmo, and then she'll get it. Come on, Vienna. Sound it out. Come. Come. See. See what? Where? Where? <laughs> Listen. <sighs> Anna's dad is one of the top criminal defense lawyers in this entire country, and this girl can't even spell. I didn't expect her to defend you. That's what I thought. And remember that case with what's his name? That gangster rapper? Oh yeah, MC Ghetto Monster. <laughs> Anyways, not only did Anna's dad get that guy acquitted, but he manipulated the case so much, the victims ended up paying the shooter. That's how ruthless Anna's dad is. And by the way, Anna's going to either you. Anna's gonna get either. Anna's gonna get either. Anna's gonna get either. Stop. Gonna get either. Stop. Stop. January, since she is the devil's spawn, and I love you, V. But, but what? You don't even know what impudent means. I mean, after it was explained to me, spell court case. <laughs> K. C. K. Sound it out. Court. Come on, Amelia. Believe in me. Who else can defend your character but your best friend? I admit, I'm not Anna or smart like Vanessa. I totally forgot Vanessa's the judge. Oh God, she's the scariest nine-year-old. And she can spell, hunty. Yes, Vanessa is totally a speller, hunty. I don't pay the $80,000 tuition and donate a meditation room. And the... Uh... <gasps> oh my gosh, I love the meditation room! It reminds me of my vacation home in the Hamptons. <gasps> Mr. Reyes. 
Defense, bring your first witness. We don't have any witnesses, Vanessa. What? You better respect my position. Your Honor, I mean, I mean Your Honor. Are you the lawyer for the defendant? Poor defendant. You lawyers are messing up the trial didn't even start yet. Yes, Your Honor, I'm a mess, but I am ready to defend my friend. Miss Anna, you are defending the paper and therefore your brother, who is an alumni advisor. Yes, Your Honor, and we have a witness. Interesting. Bring your first witnesses to stand. Do you promise to tell the truth and nothing but the truth so help you? God. Uh, of course, I need to finish that English one right now, lady. I know, I have rehearsal. Please hear your name for the court. Hi, my name is Emmanuel Connolly, C-O-N-N-O-L-L-Y. I am alumni advisor to the Women Gazette and English teacher. Where were you when the picture with the very scandalous image was posted? And we were both removed on a family vacation. Just answer your question. No, I wasn't there. Which student did you leave your leadership to on your absence? A million Hastings! Mr. Connolly, please refrain from dramatic posturing. <laughs> Sorry, I just always want to do that. Stop it. Yes, ma'am. Excuse me. Oh, I mean, Your Honor. Vienna, please cross the name of the witness. So, Mr. Connolly, how's life? Hurry up and cross examine the defense. Don't play patting with witnesses. Sonia gave me access to private Supreme Court judicial meetings and I'm not missing the plebeian. Let's go. So, Mr. Connolly, are you aware that you're the heart girl of the school? All the girls, and Kyle, in 10th grade call you Professor McDreamy. Objection, what does it have to do with the case? Oh, rules. I need to know what you all think this guy is cute. <laughs> I don't see it. What kind of Pretty. cake? What kind of cake in court is this? And Mila, Vili, Vienna clearly leading us in a different direction. Order in my court? Proceed, counsel. Like I was saying, are you aware that you're called Professor McDreamy? Um, uh, fortunately, yes. Well, do you realize that your very presence can distract some young ladies and make it incapable for them to do their job? Yeah, well, what does that have to do with Amelia doing her job? Like, make it make sense. Well, do you realize that this distraction can cause a young lady who is glowing in different chakras to behave absent-mindedly? Objection! Do not leave the witness with your dumb rhetoric. Overruled. Why? Because <clears throat> I'm a judge, silly. Overruled. <laughs> Let us make it to the question. Uh, I don't believe any chakras of any sort. I don't care. I rest. <laughs> what do you mean you rest? V, you cannot rest. Don't worry, Anne. I got you. Prosecutor, do you have another witness? Yes. You can leave now. Thank you. Yes, I call to the bench Nathan Jackson, military transfer of the historic Grand Military Academy and printer of the Women Gazette. So you promise to tell the truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God. 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 Yes, ma'am! <laughs> so, Nathan, you're the one who does all the printing for the Gazette. Describe your job. Yes, ma'am! I get in at 0800 hours, and I take the flash drive with all the writers, work on it, and I just print it out. Do you read what you print after the fact, or do you just print and leave? I print it out and fold them meticulously and stay them, which I do not get paid for, by the way. Mr. Nathan, you're a military transfer, are you not? You come from Grant Military School, correct? Yes, ma'am. That means you're very meticulous, correct? Yes, ma'am. I just do the work and I create the booklets. It's too early in the morning to notice any weird pictures. See, Your Honor, this young man is not the perpetrator. Yeah, I'll make that decision, Prosecutor. Defense, cross-examine. Uh, just because you're from the military doesn't make you infallible. Ha! Spell infallible, man! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <coughs> Why? Does a meticulous military genius who has had to the most debonair military school in the world not see a giant photo of the principal and this Therese on the back page. Don't you have to sort these pages that you so meticulously and expertly arrange to staple? What? Why, does a boy like you... Young man. Ma'am. I'm a young man. Why, does a young man get transferred to a posh 
bougie boarding school from an illustrious military academy. That's none of your business! Objection! Overruled. Is it true you have a habit of procrastinating and having other people do the work for you? I, Is that why you got kicked out? Is that true? I have no idea what you are talking about. Well, I heard from Jack at Kinko's that you picked up a large order already stapled. So therefore, you couldn't have seen the photo because you didn't do the work. Did you ever see the photo? I want an answer. She doesn't have to answer that. You want answers? I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. <laughs> it's not my fault. I was kicked out of the military academy. We're insubordinate behavior. I worked hard when I needed to. The punishments were severe. Have you slept with rifles, little lady, and ran at the break of day, and ate food only fit for dogs? Then yes, my mental health deserves to go to Kinko's and get the work done for me. So no, I did not arrange the papers because I did not see them. Jack saw it because he gets paid to do what I do not have to. I planned to be a businessman, and I did what businessmen do. I outsourced the work, and that is the truth. I read. I read. Yes, Colin Howard's Hoffmeyer. Wow. As a class president, he has moral authority on Amelia Hastings' behavior. Plus, he's not here from second grade. Okay, let's make a snack. Do you promise to tell the truth and nothing but the truth? So help you go. Da, da. Uh, yes, and by the way, you sucked as Eliza Hamilton. How dare you? I did a great job. If you say so. Stop insulting our bailiffs and get up the stand, please. Prosecution? That was Hoffmeyer. Can you give us the personality type of Amelia Hastings and why I think she inserted this inflammatory picture of our dear principal and Mr. Reyes? Objection! Amelia helped him get elected. He beat the most popular girl in school. Who's the most popular girl in school? I'm too busy being smart to know who that is. <laughs> January. Why? Because she's a model and she has like a million followers on Instagram. That's it? Proceed. State your name is. Miles Hoffmeyer. M Y L E S. Spelling is not important. Defense, what are you objecting to? But he has to spell his name for the court secretary. Proceed, Mr. Hoffmeyer. O F F E M E Y E R. Capital examining witness. So, Miles, is it true that you've known Amelia since second grade? Well, yes, our parents were friends, and she went to my bar mitzvah, when I went to her bar mitzvah, and I thought we were friends until we got to Whitman. What happened when you got to Whitman? She dropped me like a hot potato! <gasps> How? Well, I would ask her to hang out, and she'd say, Oh, Miles, I'm too busy to hang out with you, and then I'd see her hanging out with Mr. Hardy Valley basketball star over there. <gasps> Here they found to see that fault, so they never dated, they only talked on the phone. It doesn't matter, does it? Amelia dumps her friend. She'll dump you, too. That's not true. She is a great person. Can you prove that she is? Miles, what do you think her motive is for exposing them in such a way? Well, she's obviously doing it for cloud. She wants to be like Candyberry. <laughs> Anyway, objection. Oh, be quiet, Vienna. I'm a guy, and even I want to be like January. She gets to do fun stuff, she gets into horsemen's, and she was so popular, she was even in Murder X's music video. <laughs> Goes. 
Answer the question. No, I do not feel entitled. Then why are you so upset Amelia has her own friends? Well, I was her friend first. I was there when her horse Penelope died. Where were you? Yes, I met Amelia Whitman. Technically, I am a new friend. Is that why you're a witness for the prosecution? You feel like she abandoned you? Of course she abandoned me. But she helped you with your election. She just posted my campaign slogans and helped me with my ads and designed my banner. And that's how well it could. But when I asked her to prom, she said no. But to Mr. Hottie Maddie basketball star. But you took Blair to the prom. <laughs> I did take Blair to prom. But I had to take Blair to prom. January paid me fifty thousand dollars to take her. I can't even tell. Oh, what? But I thought you were in love with me. Expelled. 
I have accepted the guilty decision, and now I gotta go. <laughs> Hola, Sonia. Hola, Red Sotomayor. How are you, Your Honor? See me again. I got a new day in Andy, who's got un caso. Compadre! See, see, a case of unrequited love. Girl, I know, silly kids. <laughs> It seems like it, but we won! I know, but something just seems off about all of it. I don't know. But we did win! Thank <laughs> you. 